what's up everybody today i'm going to be teaching you how to make the perfect youtube thumbnail just in your pc so you'll need a web browser for this so head on to it and you're going to be searching up photop.com so photop.com so once you're here you're going to want to press new project and then scroll down here until you can see the youtube thumbnail template so click on that and then click create so here's your blank template here so for this I'm going to get my thing from Google I'm going to search up gorilla tag forest or whichever map you want your thing and then you're going to be looking at all the different pictures so I kind of like this one that's too blurry here there we go once you found your picture drag and drop it into OBS then you have it here then you're going to enlarge it enlarge it and here we go so there's your thing if you want to brighten it up you click on this tool here right click it and then click dodge tool so once you're here just set it to the size you want and the hardness of around 35 here so then just click around randomly here until you have it brightened to how you want it so there is your photo so if you don't have a thing which you can insert like me then you can just search up on google how um like gorilla tag monkey PNG and then you have a bunch of options to choose from but if you do have one then I'm just X that out file open and place and then search up your thing so and then you can insert it in so once you have this again if you want to brighten it up then you can just click on it there Alright, so um, if you want to enlarge it again, then edit, transfer, form, scale, and then bring that up a bit. So, once you have that done, I'd like to get some text in, because you've got your monkey, you've got your background, now we need this text. So, you go into your thing, and you find what's the best one. So for me, I like to find one called Comica Axis. So here it is. You click on it and then you place your text down, put the size up, and then you write your text. So for me that is thumbnail. And then if you want to size it up even more then you can. Here we go. So, yup. They go. If it's the wrong colour, then go back onto your text thing. Then select all of it, and then you can change the colour up here to white. So, once you've done that, I'm gonna bring this up a bit. Yeah, you want the text to be under your monkey once you do it. And then you go to your thumbnail, right click it, blending options, and then you're going to want to do stroke. So once you're here, you're going to want to do it around 10. So then you can see that is my outline. And then you're also, if you want to, like I do, if you want to have a gradient overlay, then you go onto that, select it, and then go to here. Then click on gradient, then Click on the left one, the one which you want to see at the bottom. So for me, I want it to be yellow. So there we go. And then the top one you want it to be. I like it to be red. And then you have a really cool gradient sort of colour scheme. So if you don't think it has enough colours, you can just like add little bits to it. So like for a thumbnail, I'm going to add the Photopy logo. Yeah. 
we go PNG. So once you do it, again you can go onto here. Oh no, that's not PNG, I guess. No, that's not right. Ah. You can go onto here and then again you can drag and drop it into your document. So, so once you have that, you might you might want to edit, transform, rotate instead, and then rotate that round a bit, so you can have that, and then if you want to round off the corners a bit, you can get your eraser tool here, zoom in, then my hand tool to move it, and then eraser, you can just... Then that's around the corner. And yeah, that's basically how you make your thumbnail. If you want to like also darken some things up, so where you want to place some shadows, then you can also go back onto this like lollipop shape tool, so the dodge tool, right click it, click burn tool instead, and then have it on like the same settings you had it before. So here, the size up, then around 35, so you should have the hardness app, and then yeah, some shadows in places, like for me, I always like to do it around this area, oh no, wrong place, ah. so yeah, you can add your little bits of shadow here, oh, and also, you want to shadow your things, that reminds me. So for your text, right click it again, blending options, and then drop shadow, not the inner shadow, drop shadow, and then angle it where you want, put the opacity up to where you want, yeah, and that is it. If you guys found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing, it really helps my channel out, see you guys later, bye.